Welcome back everyone. As we continue our celebration of spring fever, Maria's found a way to highlight a classic outdoor activity right there on our doors. Oh, is this so is so smart, Maria. Oh, well I am checking another item off of our spring fever bucket list and that is to fly a kite. And I love our spring fever bucket list because it keeps us so busy during yep. spring and to really enjoy the season. And I love the idea of flying kites because Cameron, I have to tell you, when I was growing up, every year in our Easter baskets, my sister and I always got a kite. Really? True story. And I want to do that with my kids too because Grant's at the age where now it's like he can go out and actually do it and it's exciting for him to do. So I, I just think it's so nostalgic and beautiful. So I, I wanted love to create that. some more art out of the kite. And I love to hear the inspiration of our DIYers where these DIYs yeah. come from. And it comes from that, from it your does, childhood, which is great. Does. Okay, so in order to create this, we got to start with the wreath uh, type portion exactly. of it. Exactly. Yeah. So these, uh, okay. th basically a wreath form. This is styrofoam, styrofoam wreath form. Say that five times fast. This is just <laughs> at your local craft store. And so Cameron, I trust that you know enough about DIY to get this started for me. You got it. So this is uh, just some yarn. Okay. And um, so, yeah, you can just start wrapping. Beautiful. So what's cool about the yarn is that one, it's really inexpensive. And two, it just makes the whole process super Super easy. So the way I started is just use it tying a knot and you do a dab of hot glue. To be honest with you, you could actually um, just do this without any kind of adhesive because the yarn is super easy, but the hot glue does make it super secure. And as you go, do a dab of hot glue and kind of keep going with that. If you used a thicker yarn, it would not be as time consuming. That would take Got up it. much more of, uh, you know, the, the wreath itself. And then that's good to go just like that. Then you would just continue with that until your entire wreath is covered. Well, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> it'll, take me, it'll take me a while. Put it on a Hallmark movie it does. and watch it. That's great, though. So you keep going. You now, could going. you use something other than hot glue? Would the hot glue be okay on the styrofoam? You know, the I think it'd just be as simple as regular glue. If okay. you just have like some craft glue around, because my kids do, I would use something as simple as that. Yeah. And luckily, we're gonna cheat, and I don't we're have to, you don't have to watch me do this for too much longer. Okay, so now we've got this done. Let's let's assume yes. we're gonna make the actual kite portion. So now we get that framing, the structure to it. Really, this is the fun part. Uh, this, so I have just a little bit of fabric here, but to create the base of the kite these are just bamboo skewers so you can see I created the shape here oh. yeah and what you want to do to create the shape is line them up and actually place them on just some parchment paper and do some dabs of the hot glue because the hot glue is not going to stick to the parchment oh, paper. so you could just pop it right off. pop it right off and it'll dry right after it dries and of course it's going to dry very quickly this is just some fabric that I got at the craft supply store so this is a gingham fabric and I thought it'd be perfect for spring and all I do with this is I just do a little line of the hot glue and I wrap it so it's almost like, you know, when you think of sewing, you think of like a trim. And this is just the hot glue that you can do with this. Now, you could do a fabric tack with this, but I will say I have zero patience when it comes to um, DIYing. I just don't want to wait really for anything no. if I don't have to. So I just hot glue everything. And, and on that note, I mean, I wonder from one of your uh, childhood kites, you could actually, if you, you could DIY the rest of it, but then use something something nostalgic from your childhood. You if you had a kite could. that you could put on there as well, you right? You could. That would be to. such a cute idea. Not that you don't want to do this. I'm just saying. And uh, so then I have this. This is what it looks like after you do all of your uh, the the lines along the outside. In order to add a little bit of an extra special touch, you do not have to do this, but I think it makes it really fun. Uh, what you could do is this is just some ribbon. I love uh, crafting with ribbon just because it always adds a little bit of extra. Uh, just a little bit of texture to that and just kind of creating your own trim that way and you do this with all four sides. I think it finishes it really nicely. It does, I think that's nice a, that's and clean and you would just cut off any sure. excess like that. Just like that. that. We've got the main part of the kite uh, developing now, but now we, you know, in order to really sell that it's a kite, uh -huh. you need that tail, that kite tail, we do. right? So with the kite tail, I think of like the things that are like hanging exactly. down from it. Uh, things, it's a very technical term. But that is what I wanted to create with these little bows. And so what this is, this is just a seersucker fabric. And I'm doing the same thing that I did for the kite. And I'm just creating this along here. So what you want to do is that this on both sides, and you actually just end up looping it. You do that, and you end up looping it like this. Okay. Okay. So this I is what I have here. A tube yeah, making making a tube, and what you want to do is do an accordion fold. So you do this, and you do this, and you tie it just with some extra of the string. Tricky. 
And that's I like it. That. Yeah. I mean, sneaky, not tricky. It's actually not tricky. <laughs> but I love the two, that both your fabrics that you chose, very springy. They're very, they, they beautifully, are. the it, essence of spring. Whatever aesthetic that you like. But yeah, yeah, the seersucker and the gingham, I think are just really playful and fun. And then you just kind of tie them on like that. Is yeah. there any way to kind of keep them in place? Do you need any hot glue in there? Yeah, you just the... tie, you would put them onto the string with okay. just some hot glue. Okay. As simple as that, as right? As simple as that. Okay, now we got to, uh, Work on the uh, the cursive writing out of string, which, uh, by the way, when I saw that, I was thinking to myself, must have taken a minute. Yes, yeah, so it's actually easy, but it does take a minute, and I got started a little bit earlier, so I'll show you how to do it. it. So this is going to be available for you on our website. So you just use, uh, this is printed out online, and uh, that's my template, and I'm covering it with wax paper. So what, this is the string that I'm dipping into, just some Mod Podge. The Mod Podge is what is going to make the string hold its shape. And so I'm just using my hands just to get some of the excess off so it's not as saturated, and just using my hands to do the lettering, and it will hold the lettering, uh, the shape. So it's on the wax paper. It's really, like, you can really move it into any shape that you like. This is a good trick. These are bamboo skewers, the same one I used for the kite. Got and it. you just use those, because your hands are sticky, those will help kind of hold everything in its place. Maria. And you just let it set there, and it's really just good to go. That's sometimes, <laughs> so good. sometimes I get so impressed. I mean, I'm always impressed, but that was pretty impressive. Okay, so now we got to put it all together. How yes. long does that take to dry, by the way? Oh, that would I... Oh my gosh, Cameron, give it 24 hours. Okay. I have to tell you, I've done lots of work with Great. fabric and Mod Podge, and it definitely takes a good uh, 24 hours to dry. Oh. And that's it. Does it bring you back to uh, Easter as, as, a, as a little girl? Does. Yes, of it's course so it does. Exhausting. Great job, Maria. Full instructions, head over to hallmarkchannel.com. And coming up next, more from the family. See you then. <laughs>